The professional game can be won and lost on the tiniest of margins. Until recently, players had to rely on just the eyes of the line judges. Was the ball in or out? In the heat of battle, this could sometimes lead to frustration and anger. Until, that is, the introduction of ball line technology and Hawkeye. Anything that helps get the decision right has got to be good. And it also helps the players relax on court. I mean, I think we all, we all feel that even if they don't use it, because it's there, um, you know, that, that they've got a chance to challenge, they can, they can look and, and, and feel more comfortable with, with all the decisions on court. Now an integral part of the ATP World Tour, how does the sophisticated Hawkeye system actually work? So we have 10 cameras positioned around the court. So this is a typical Hawkeye camera. Uh, so within this housing, we have a high-speed camera capturing at 52 frames per second. Each camera has its own PC, and all this information, this 2D information, gets sent through to a central PC here, which is the brains of the system. And it's able to triangulate the ball, so it's able to map uh, space and time coordinates. This information is then sent over to a virtual world PC. And then when there is a close line call, we can fly in, preview the bounce, and then when there is an official challenge, for example, we can select that bounce and fly in, as you can see here. The player can call for it whenever he likes. Um, he can stop play um, on a point-ending shot. If he gets three challenges wrong, then uh, obviously that's, that, that's it. Uh, you, you have three per set, uh, one extra in the tiebreak. Everybody makes mistakes. Uh, the chair umpire, the line judges make mistakes. As a player, I make mistakes. So, so I mean, it's it's good if we can correct those mistakes and uh, challenge on a Hawkeye. So it's it's good to have the chance and, uh, and review the call. And it's not just the players and officials who have taken to Hawkeye. The fans like to get involved too. First of all, they thought that we'd be wrong all the time. So they started encouraging the players, challenge, 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 because they want to see the line empires overruled. It brings an element of uh, uh, excitement to the game, especially for the fans. It's very good for the public. You, you see that everywhere, worldwide, people get into this Hawkeye thing, and they, they like to see the, the replay, and they, they, they really get into it. So I, I think it's good. But even with the introduction of new technologies, for some players, old habits die hard. And if Hawkeye had been around in the great John McEnroe's day... He'd be wanting more challenges. He'd probably break the system, you know, of some sort. He would, you know, obviously complain that it's not right of some sort. And he would still be his, his old self, for sure. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, a special report from the first of the ATP World Tour Masters 1000 events of 2010, Indian Wells. And we speak to arguably the greatest tennis player of all time, the inimitable 16-time Grand Slam champion, Roger Federer. Until then, don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com for your 24-7 breaking news. We'll see you next week.